Hey there, Miss Smith here, and today we're going to make some bubble art. So materials that you're going to need for this project are some bubbles. So if you have some bubble mix, uh, you can buy this at the dollar store or the grocery stores. Or if you don't have bubble mix, I'll insert a recipe how to make your own bubble mix. You're going to need some basic food coloring. So you might already have this at home. I bought this from the dollar store. Um, you can buy it at any of your grocery stores. So it's just a few different colors of food coloring. You're going to need some paper. The thicker the paper, the better. So uh, if you have poster board you can cut up or some cardstock. You're going to need a bubble wand. So my bubbles came with a bubble wand, but I will show you how to make a bubble wand out of some plastic disposable straws that you can tape together. Uh, or you can make a bubble wand out of a plastic water bottle. And I have some white netting. You can use netting from, um, if you have a bag of potatoes, apples, or oranges, they usually come in a bag that is like a net that you can use. And then you're also going to need some um, cups to mix different colors of bubbles in. So I'm using some plastic disposable cups, but you can use whatever you have at home. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour some of my bubble solution into a few cups. So I'm going to pour a little bit of this into each cup and try not to spill it. Then I'm going to take some of my food coloring. Again, this is just food coloring I bought at the dollar store. And I'm going to add a little bit to each cup of bubbles. So the colors I have are red, blue, green, and yellow. So I might put a little bit of red in this one. I'm just going to do one drop. You can always add more, but you can't take away. Hi, future Miss Smith here. I found out one to two drops of food coloring was not enough color in my bubbles. When my bubble prints dried, they seemed really light. So I recommend adding five to six drops of food coloring to each one of your cups. This one, my favorite color is teal. So I'm gonna do one drop of blue and one drop of green to make teal. And then I think in one I'm going to make orange. So this is yellow plus red makes orange. So I'm going to do one drop of each of those. And then maybe I'll just do yellow in this one. And then I'm going to do purple. Let's do purple. So blue plus red make purple. So I'm going to do one drop of each. Then, right now they already look super cool. Then I am going to just take a stick and I'm gonna swirl this around so I color my bubble solution, whatever color I put in there. So that's a really nice teal color. This one I did just red. And if I wanted to make it darker, I could just add more food coloring or if I wanted to make it lighter, I could add more bubbles. This one I did orange. Oh, that's pretty. This one I did just yellow. Then this one I did purple. Ooh, but. So next I'm gonna get my bubble wands ready. So this is the bubble wand that came in my bubbles. But if you're making your own bubbles at home out of water and just soap, or you wanna make a different wand, I will show you how to do that. So we can make one wand out of a plastic bottle and some netting. So what I'm gonna do is carefully take my scissors and I'm gonna cut the top off this bottle off. Like so. And then I'm going to put this netting over the end of it. Like so. So that way when I blow through the end, you can take this top off. When you blow through the end, the bubbles are gonna go through all these little holes. Other way you can do it is by taking some straws. So I have two straws here, and I'm just going to cut them into three different pieces. Oop. 
So I cut my straw into three different pieces and I'm gonna stack these three pieces together so they're all even on one end and then I'm going to tape these together. So that way when I blow through here, the bubbles will come out the end and I'll have all these different bubbles coming out. So today is a really nice sunny day. So I'm outside working. I suggest that you try to work outside too if it's nice out. As long as it's not too windy, the bubbles will be fine. We are working with food coloring. Food coloring will stain your surfaces. So make sure that you pull up your sleeves when you're doing this and maybe work on a board, a placemat, a piece of newspaper, or a piece of cardboard. Our, so, also our guest star today will be Gwen. She'll be in the background assisting with the camera. Right, Gwen? Say hi to your people. She says hi. So, let's get started. So now I'm ready to make some bubble art. So I have a piece of thick paper here on the ground. And I am going to stick my bubble wand in, let's start with purple. Stick it in the purple, and I'm going to blow bubbles down at my paper. Might have to get a little close. Let's go into green. Or this is my teal. And you just want to let the bubbles pop on the paper. Let me try my straws. Dip my straws in there. Ooh, that makes quite a few bubbles. I like that. Let's try. bubble prints and I hope you do too. Remember I want to see what you're creating so send me a picture. I hope you're all doing well and I hope to see you soon.